fly, Billy. Someday that helicopter is not going to fly by here. Then what you going to do? Oh, hello, sir. Boys, have a mighty fine game over there. So what? Well, don't you like games? They're all right. Billy, in this world, it's mighty important to have friends. They don't want me to know games. You think I care? I've got plenty of friends. Important friends. Like, like the whirly birds up there. Billy, you know you don't know them whirly birds. I do, too. Boy, you mustn't carry on telling such big stories like that, child. Listen, I got some nice gingerbread over in my room, the kind you like. So after you finish studying, come on by. Yeah? up in an airplane. I have to. Come on, come on. Come on. Man, that's a life. Why do we have to grow up? <laughs> Whoever said you did. I don't know how lucky you are when you're a kid. Until you grow up and then it's too late. And what was it George Bernard Shaw said? Youth is a wonderful thing, it's too bad it's wasted on young people? Yeah. <laughs> Don't you want to give your side of the story too, Billy? No, sir. Let's see if I can imagine what your side of the story would be. Now Harvey and another group of boys started to pick on you. You stood it for as long as you could and then you decided to fight. Now how's that? Am I close? I'd rather not see. All right, then. Let's see if I can imagine why they picked on you. Now, you were standing around minding your own business. Harvey and his friends see you. They know they can pick on you and get away with it. Because you haven't got any friends. I got plenty of friends. Oh? Maybe not in this school, but outside. Important friends, like, like the Whirly Birds, and Ted Williams, Mickey Mouse, and Stan Usual. Stan told me All right, Billy, that's enough. Mickey Mouse? I told you to stop. Now, I think I know why you can't get on with the other boys. It's not your fault that there's something different about you. That you don't have a family. That you don't have a home that you can bring friends to over the holidays. That you're being brought up by the bank. It's the biggest bank in the world. Billy, please. Now, those things aren't your fault. But they don't mean that you can't make friends. If only you'd stop telling those tall stories. I... I know why you tell them. You feel that you have to make up for what you haven't got by inventing a lot of other things. But believe me, Billy, you don't have to. You're a good boy. You don't have to pretend to be something else. The others will accept you for what you are. Who is them? You do. Look, Billy, I know this thing isn't all one-sided. People can be cruel. They tend to pick on others that are different that have things that they don't have. But the way you're trying to fix this, by telling those tall stories, you're not helping things any. Now, will you think about what I've said? If you want me to, sir. I do. All right, you may go now. come for you, Billy. Wow. Boy, that's 
truly something. Who said it to you? A friend of mine. Who? Actually, it's from two friends of mine. Chuck Martin and P.T. Moore. Yeah. Who are they? Boy, you sure don't know much, do you? Just happens that Chuck Martin and P.T. Moore happen to be the worry birds, that's all. And they're friends of yours? Just happens that they're very close friends of mine. Oh, yeah? Well, if they're such close friends of yours, how come they never come to see you on visiting days? Think that's all they got to do, come around this pokey little school? I guess you don't realize that they just happen to run the biggest helicopter service in the world, that's all. I still say if the Whirly Birds were really your friends, they'd come to see you. They would if I invited them. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay, then, Big Shot. Tomorrow's visiting day. Invite them. For a friend of ours, a boy named Billy. Billy Train, is he Bill around? Billy Train? Oh, get him! Hey, Billy! 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 Come on. Think this is Billy? I hope so. Hi, Chuck. Hi, PT. Hi. Hi, Billy. How are things going? Okay. Not much excitement. How's the old flying game? <clears throat> uh, oh, not bad, not bad. The old bus looks in pretty good shape. Yeah, uh, like to take a ride? Yeah, that might be fun. Be a change from this place. It's been quite a while since I helicopter. Oh, you folks better step back a bit. There's quite a downdraft from the motors of the Whirly Blade. calling me Chuck. Let's keep it that way, huh? Thanks, Chuck. What I wanted to ask you is... Go on. I mean, how you came today to the school? For me. We were invited. Invited? Yeah, by a friend of yours. A friend of mine? I haven't. You haven't what, Billy? I haven't got any friends. Well, you have one that we know about. A very good one, too. Who? 
very fine lady named Sarah. Sarah? You mean she? That's right, Billy. She came to see us and told us the spot you were in. Good old Sarah. Boy, she... she she's what? She's wonderful. Uh, have you ever told her that? Oh, no. I... People like to hear things like that, Billy. They like to know when you like them. One way of making friends. Billy, have you ever told anybody you liked them? I like you. I think you're wonderful. <laughs> you know what I think? What? I think we are going to be friends. Good job. Where are you, Incorporated? This is Mr. Leighton, headmaster of the Longwood School. I was wondering if by any chance you'd seen Billy Train this morning. No. No, we haven't seen him. Why? Well, he's disappeared. Run off. I thought he might have come to you. I don't know where else he could have gone. He doesn't have a family, no friends. There's a lot of open country north of the school. I know. The police have search parties out now. But the roads are bad. I wondered if you could do a search from the air. It would be much quicker. Naturally, you'd be paid for your time. Well, you can forget that. We're on our way right now.
Maybe he went to the bank. The only family he has. The banks aren't open yet. You know, it must be pretty awful being brought up by a bank. He might show up there later. Well, anyhow, meanwhile, we better have a better look at the open country around that school. Yeah. Let's keep our eyes open. It could be anywhere around here. What do you think you're doing? I don't pick up the kid. What's the matter with you? Don't we have enough trouble without dragging a kid around? Be smart, sweetie. Be smart. The cops are looking for a hot car with a guy and a dame in it, not a guy, dame, and a kid. You going down? Sure, kid. Hop in. Wait a minute. Where are you going, Sonny? Into town. Where in town? First National Bank. What would you be doing at the First National Bank? I want to see what... My father. My father is the president of the bank. Come on, kid. Hop in. Listen, Sonny, bank presidents don't come to work before 10 o'clock, so you can wait here with us. I'll go and get us a room. Listen. Be smart, sweetie. Be smart. If you say that once more, I'll scream. Oh. And don't paw me, you ape. I'm getting a feeling this is a wild goose chase. We still got a lot of ground to cover. Listen, genius, if this kid's father's president of a bank, I'm the Queen of Sheba. What are you talking about? Helicopter 38 Bravo calling Longwood Field. Helicopter 38 Bravo to Longwood Field. Come in, please. This is Longwood Field, Helicopter 38 Bravo. What is it, PT? Helen, any word? No, not a thing. I just phoned the school again. No news. All right, keep us posted. Great, bravo out. Okay, Sonny. Ask for your father. My father isn't the president of the bank. Hmm. No, huh? Uh, what does your father do? I haven't got a father. Okay, genius. Now are you satisfied? Oh. But I've got friends. I got lots of them. The worthy birds are my friends. Who? The worthy birds. You know, they on that big helicopter service down Longwood Field. I was just visiting them. That was, that was what I was doing out here. Look, will you lose this kid? Helicopters, huh? You really know them? Sure I do. Sure he does. Just like his father's president of the bank. Ah, I bet you don't really... I bet you're just fooling me. You don't really know the whirly birds. I do, too. Ah, <laughs> I bet you can't prove it like, uh, like, uh... Well, like, uh, call him up or something? I bet you I can. Okay, prove it. Chuck there, please. Who's calling, please? This is his friend, Billy Trey. Billy, where are you? I'm at the... Uh, 
Who's this? What? Who am I talking to? I, mean, I want to talk to the boss. Mr. Moore and Mr. Martin are in flight now. Well, can you get in touch with them? Well, I can reach them by radio. Well, I'd like to talk to them because, uh... Like, I've got the kid here, and, uh... If you don't want to see a kid that get into trouble, like, uh... Well, hold the wire. Longwood Field, the helicopter 38 Bravo. Longwood Field, the helicopter 38 Bravo. Come in, please. The kid's okay, right? Now, how about you fly me and the missus out of the state? I mean, a deal between gentlemen. No rough stuff. You see, I mean, like, uh, I got this gun and, uh, the kid might get hurt, you know? Deal? All right, it's a deal. Good. But we dropped Billy off at the school first. Uh, is that nice? I see. You, you call that being a gentleman? Why, that place is probably crawling with cops. Well, the kid can't stay here. Why not? The room was paid for six bucks in advance. Now, look, Buster. Wait a minute, Chuck. That sounds all right. You'll wait for us here, won't you, Billy? Sure. All right, it's all set then. Where do you two want to go? Any place out of this... I mean, but no airport. Right. There's an open strip about three miles north of Pine Bluff, isn't there, Chuck? Pine Bluff? No, there's a strip about ten miles north of Pine Bluff. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, he's right at ten miles... Ten miles north of Pine Bluff. There it is. Right. Hey, what are they doing here? They're supposed to have a permit to land here. Uh, they probably want to check it. Oh! <laughs> I'll handle that. Now, uh, gentlemen, you see, my wife wasn't feeling too good, and we have so, to fly it down George, the sanitarium George, down there. We'll get us some aspirin. You see, I mean... Okay, let's take him away. Well, he handled it. Figures. <laughs> Madam? Glad to see you. Yeah, I imagine. Hey, you want to know something? When I got that call, I didn't believe it. Something like a big lie. Hey, by the way, who made that call? 